unseen opportunity surrounds you. Heaven Letter Number 5512 December 27, 2015 Opportunity flowers around you. Your life abounds with opportunity that you do not see. You may not look for it. You may avoid seeing it, so accustomed are you to receiving leftovers, nada, and, yes, what I will blatantly call neglect. I will tell you frankly that, often, and even once is too often for you to continue as you presently perceive. You may well have not yet opened up to the idea that it is all right for you to receive your heart's desires. You may well have instructed yourself that you are not to receive, that you are to be denied, that it is rightful for you to not to receive, that your rightful due is unattainment, and, one way or another, you make unattainment your reality. Of course, if this is your case, you are a false prophet, and you perpetuate staying the same rather than moving ahead. You are so sure you are right. You are so sure you are meant to be neglected by the universe. In this perverse way, you keep yourself a martyr of sorts. Sometimes, my children will do anything to keep things as they are. You have fully convinced yourself that the universe cannot and will not bless you. You have some satisfaction in struggling rather than receiving the blessings of the universe. And, so, your present image of yourself will not be denied. You see yourself as a hard luck person, and you will not deny your self-image. Your self-image is askew. You are rabid for less than you deserve. You have tended to make less than you deserve as your cause lebra. To your mind, you are not even good enough to be a martyr, yet you take on that role. Beloveds, those of you who fall into this category, revise your present rendition of your place in life. You are the denier of your God-given rights. You withhold from yourself. You take great pride in this. You, the underdog. You, under the radar. You, an unbeliever in yourself and proud of your struggle for no good reason but to maintain your status quo. You, the fall guy. I ask you to get up now from your bed of nails. Truly, you have been catering to inability. You are committed to proving that you are, in effect, out of sight of the blessings of the world. No one else has to struggle as hard as you do. You may struggle to avoid seeing budding opportunities before you. You carry a false image around you. You belie your merit in the world. You choose setbacks. You make yourself Cinderella who never gets out of the cinders. You are somehow compelled to let the world pass you by. You may work harder than anyone else in the world to defeat yourself. You walk right by opportunity that falls at your feet. You ensure that you don't see it. You have a perverse sense of victory. Losing is proving you are right. Winning would destroy your false image. I ask you to expand your vision. You deserve all that is good. You deserve to receive. You may try too hard not to receive, simply because you settle for not or settle for a pittance. You may be a fighter for injustice when it comes to yourself. This is not unselfishness, dear one. This is the height of selfishness. You are more than entitled to a succession of success. You deny your rightful blessings and exercise weakness, calling your endurance strength. You sabotage yourself right and left and consider yourself victorious. Come down off your high horse. Will you stop being proud of yourself for proving yourself unworthy? Stop defrauding yourself. The blind can see. Get off the old treadmill that keeps you where you are. Step up to a new platform I place before you. Channeled by Gloria Wendroff. HeavenLetters.org